Hello, welcome back to the vlog. Um, I am actually on my way to look at an apartment. I originally applied for this unit in Lakeview. I fell in love with it, but it unfortunately was an income restricted unit and I made too much money for it and so it didn't work out. Um, so, I was really disappointed about that. I actually found out early yesterday. And um, so they sent me a list of other units that they have available at another location. Um, they don't have any available at the building where the unit that I fell in love with is at. Um, and the other building is located in Edgewater. And Edgewater, I think, is a nice place. It's, it's one of those neighborhoods that I feel like are nice from the outside looking in. I used to work in Edgewater, and the area, Edgewater, Rogers Park, and Uptown had or probably still has an influx of, like, bed bugs. There are a lot of slum lords in that area because it's a huge immigrant community, and lots of immigrants either in that community either like they don't have papers or they are low income and so they are able to slumlords are able to do not what they're supposed to do because they have tenants who can't exercise tenant rights or believe that they can't exercise tenant rights and so they don't take care of the buildings they're charging very little rent and it's all that people can afford and it's just shitty buildings and um because of that, it's just a huge influx of bed bugs. At least they used to be. I don't know if that's only certain parts of Edgewater or certain parts of Uptown. Um, so I'm very hesitant to even move into Edgewater. I can only hope that this building doesn't have those problems. I don't know. Because from the photos, the unit seems very nice. Um, it has all the amenities that I'm looking for. Um, and my management's buildings are usually modern, like they're up to date, uh, similar to the unit that I live in. But anyway, the unit that I'm looking at right now, um, in a few minutes, is located in Oak Park, Illinois. And I used to live in Oak Park. Um, I totally wouldn't mind moving back to Oak Park. Um, it's not social like the city, of course, um, where I'm at. I'm in Logan and I'm in the heart of Logan. So I'm like literally a couple blocks from Humboldt, a couple blocks from Bucktown, a couple blocks from Wicker, a few minutes from, you know, all the party social scene stuff. So Oak Park is definitely a little bit more quiet, but there's lots to do. It's one of those suburbs that give me a city feel. Um, there are lots of pe black people in Oak Park, um, which I really appreciate. And um, it's in my budget, you know. Uh, when I moved from Oak Park originally, I was making so little money and I could not afford like a one bedroom or a two bedroom. And now, because I lived in a studio <laughs> and I was paying like 600 and something dollars for that studio. And now that I look back and I'm like, oh man, like I can afford that now. It's it's a blessing. Like it's a blessing that I can even have it as an option. Um, but I love Oak Park. I do prefer to stay in the city just for the social aspect, even though I'm not a huge social person. I'm an introvert. I'm trying to, especially this summer, push myself to get out there and to be more social. And so... Um, I'm definitely preferring to be in the city. Um, so we'll see. My options now far as far as right now for neighborhoods are Oak Park, Logan Square, Humble Park, Lakeview, and Edgewater has been added into that because I possibly may love the apartments in the building that it's in when I go and look at it. I think I'm going to look at those tomorrow. Um, I have to, the person has to confirm with me, but yeah, 
we're apartment hunting again, you guys. <laughs> So this is a one bedroom, one bathroom unit in a vintage Oak Park apartment complex. I absolutely love this unit. It's a really good size for a one bedroom. I love the navy blue accents. It's completely remodeled and renovated, updated and modern ceiling fans that are, um, they come with a remote, <laughs> which I thought was really, really cool. I love that they painted the radiator because if it has to have a radiator, I cannot stand that brown or silver radiator. Um, here's the bathroom, which is beautiful it's definitely on the small side but i love the modern touches the hardware was amazing walk-in shower i thought it was really really nice um and then the living room area is a pretty great size i love the large windows it also has a ceiling fan in the living room and the bedroom so that's great. I love the floors. This color of flooring is stunning. I love it. I like the light walls. They're really light gray, which I definitely prefer over like the tan color that apartment units stick with. So I thought this was a really good size for the bedroom. I love the window. I love the color accents. The layout was nice. Lots of room. My bedroom right now is pretty tiny. So this one was a bit bigger. And so I really like that. The living room area, as I mentioned, is a really good size. It's right off the kitchen. I love the kitchen. The updated appliances, the hardware, the backsplash, the marble countertops. I love, love, love. This fridge is stunning. It's huge. It's super updated. It shows like the temperature on the front. The maintenance guy who showed me around was letting me know how cool this fridge was. And he was also really nice. And the maintenance lives in the building, something that I really like. So I love this unit. It was $14.99. So very nice. Okay, so you all seen the space. I was met by the building manager slash maintenance guy. Um, he was very, very nice. He informed me that he does live in the building and they strictly enforce. I didn't even ask him this, but he told me they strictly enforce no loud noise, no smoking. The building was very, very quiet when I was in it. When I was in the unit, I didn't hear other people um, in, in the building. Um, I am looking at a unit that's on the top floor. Um, there were the stairs are not very tall. It's not a very tall building. It does have an elevator. The elevator was built in 1920. I wish I would have got that one video. So the building itself is has a lot of character, it has a lot of charm. It's very well taken care of. It was very clean. It smelled very clean. It looked very clean. Uh, you can tell that the building is obviously older, but it's taken care of, um, fresh paint, you know, nothing on the floor. I didn't smell any animals. I didn't hear any animals. I didn't hear people aside from the people who were leaving out of their apartments. Um, the laundry room was very clean. That is a con that the laundry is not in the unit. I will likely do laundry at my parents' house. I'm not paying for laundry in the building, but, uh, the laundry room was very clean. They do have a parking lot. If you pay for the um, street parking in uh, Oak Park, you have to pay for a parking permit no matter what. Um, and if you have that parking permit, then you can park in the parking lot. So that's very nice. Um, it does have an elevator, so that's very nice. It's an older elevator, but it's it works very well. He told me that the elevator is inspected by the village every three months. And I've lived, lived in Oak Park before. The village does not play here in Oak Park. Um, the unit itself was beautiful. The cons were that the bathroom is very small. While it's very updated, it is small. You know, I'm big. Um, so that was a little bit concerning, but it wasn't so small, whereas I would be uncomfortable in it. Like it just isn't, I'm used to having a spacious bathroom, like my bathroom that I'm in now. So that's a con. The bathroom is right off of the kitchen, which is kind of sort of a con. Um, but the kitchen is beautiful. The appliances are updated that fridge is unreal 
the fridge is amazing um it does have those smart ceiling fans which is great a con is that it is radiator heated and it's not forced air a pro is that they provide you an air conditioning unit for the summer which is great and if you have your own air conditioning unit you can put it they'll put it in for you which is great um yeah so i do like the place i actually like it more than i thought i would um it's on my list um i am strictly gonna be looking at units maybe this weekend no later than monday and i'm gonna make a decision um i like oak park um i would pretty much be spending as much as i am spending now to stay here so that's also a con is that i won't be spending more than what i'm spending but i wouldn't be spending less so that's a con too i do like it it is on my list it's not top on my list because of the price point and because i do prefer in unit laundry at minimum i'm willing to compromise uh central air and forced heat but the in unit laundry that's kind of a big one for me but um we shall see so i got my usual a letter me trying to get it in the camera there it is. I had a caramel to it. Um, I also got, I had the choice between, it's actually a lot of restaurants over here. It's the mall, it's a Costco, it's a Tony's grocery store, it's an Amazon Fresh, it's a Chili's, it's um, Cane's, Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, so many different things, Chipotle, so many different things. I had access to everything when I lived over here and the rent was only like $850. I should have stayed. Um, anyway, uh, I was like, okay, what do I want? So I, I narrowed it down to Chick-fil-A and Canes. <clears throat> and I ended up getting Canes because their Canes are really only in the suburbs. Like I haven't come across Canes in the city and I can get Chick-fil-A anywhere. So I was like, let me get Canes. And I haven't been in Canes in a minute when i tell y'all these chicken strips are so small now like the the meals are so small now as you can see i'm not showing you anything because it's gone 11 dollars for a kid's meal but that's okay it got me full enough i got fruit punch but you know 11 dollars that's kind of crazy for how little how little the food has gotten it's such a beautiful day i don't know if i've said that but it's sunny clear skies and it's like 60 degrees which is like summertime in Chicago I do have a jacket like but I just didn't like the jacket with my ensemble that I put on and I didn't even take any pictures and I feel kind of cute but I just got on this simple white like button up that I got from Old Navy and this like crop athleisure top that I got from Old Navy my like light mom jeans and some sneakers like so yeah uh since today was a success i wish i could have scheduled more apartment viewings today but hopefully i can schedule more for tomorrow um but anyway i probably won't see you guys again until tomorrow when i'm hopefully going to see the apartments in edgewater i haven't gotten confirmation from um the agent yet i did see the edgewater apartment hated them didn't like the locations parking it was way too small for the price point um on top of having to pay like the parking fee and everything hated them so i didn't even show them because there were tenants living there so i didn't want to do that either but anyway but we'll see Hi, I'm kind of needed to get out the door, but I wanted to show Bath and Body Works had a buy one get one free all uh, candles yesterday, so I had to go. I had to go. I also got a few things from Amazon that I want to show. Um, so I re-upped on my 
Floridex. This is an iron and herbal supplement. It really helps with energy. Like when I was out of this for a week, this past week, I felt it. So it's not a placebo thing. I added to my um, vitamin collection right now. I have a vitamin D3, uh, apple cider vinegar vitamin, zinc, and then this is a vegan collagen boost and a rebalance for like hormonal balance and mood balance and hormones and all that stuff. Anyway, I got both of these um, for $29.99 or $26.99 or something like that um, from... Amazon. I heard a lot about Ray's, so this is how it looks. It's really cute. It's a plastic bottle. So, this one, I think it's this one. It smells like mint. It smells so good. It actually smells like a foot spray. You know that minty foot spray? I don't know. I use foot spray, so maybe that's just me, but yeah, so it's 60 in here and it's in here and you take 20 a, two a day um so 30 day supply so this is palo santo and sage two of my favorite scents for like smoke when i do smoke cleansing i use palo santo or sage and um having them both together oh my gosh so this is a white barn it smells amazing it smells so good and looks so nice and sweet. Then I got Citrin and Tonic. Um, this one has like a lemon, juniper, kind of like herbal scent. And I love these simplistic, you know, containers. I like the extra ones too. And then here I have Drift wood waves it's like a clean type of scent a little woody mm -hmm. and a little sweet too i wonder where the sweetness comes from this one i think is really sweet it's the flower girl flower cart it smells literally like fresh flowers how do they nail it i don't know but how pretty and the third one that I got is rose water and I love So it's like a clean set, like rose. Um, it smells really, really good. A little bit of lemon. So those are all the candles that I got. I just wanted to show you all that really quickly. Um, I was supposed to go see more apartments today, but it got rescheduled for Monday because we have to coordinate with the current tenants who are staying there. So, so far I've only seen one apartment. I only have this one scheduled for Monday, but I'm hoping to hear from more by Monday. And then I probably have to schedule for that next weekend because I really wanted to just get as many in this weekend as possible. But it's taken a minute for to get responses. Like, it's such a headache to find apartments. It is such a headache. And I wish that I didn't have to move. And I, and, and I could just stay and just pay you know, but if I want to lower my income to out paying ratio, um, I need to have lower means of living, you know. And so it's not like I can't afford where I am. It's not like I can't afford to stay. But if I want to spend less and save more, then... I'm not really as capable of doing that with my current rent. So a part of me is just like, fuck it. I'll just stay and deal with it. But I at least want to try. I at least want to try and see if I can find a space that I love just as much as where I am for a cheaper price. So that's where I'm at. I'll keep you all updated. Good morning. It's almost Friday. It's Thursday. It's very, very, very warm in Chicago. And it's very early right now because I am at an apartment viewing. So as an FYI, this apartment really came from like 
the heavens above. Like, one day I'm going to talk in more detail about how this worked out, but my management ended up reaching out to me and pretty much communicating that they had another unit in Ukrainian Village, which is literally, I feel like, a sub-neighborhood to Logan Square, um, that was really affordable in my range. It was newly renovated and that you know, they felt like it would be a great fit for me. And so I ended up going to see it this day. And basically, yeah, things worked out. I'll talk about it a little bit more in detail in this video and later. But when I say that how this situation worked out was literally just divine intervention, like my ancestors were working because to get this kind of unit newly renovated at the price that I am getting it and, you know, basically how I got it is a miracle. So, yeah, I just wanted to give the background because I didn't really talk much about, you know, where I am. Some pros already. Um, it's only about seven minutes from where I where I live now. So very familiar with the area. Um it is, I'm looking at the street parking. It looks to be free street parking. Um, and there are a, quite a few spaces like still available on the street. So I feel like if I have guests, they won't have any issues parking. I have to get a parking spot. Um, so I won't have to worry about that personally, but um, there is parking spots available for like guests um, because it's free street parking. Um, I don't see any signs that says that it's not free. Um, it's pretty quiet, so that's good. Um, I've seen like a few people walking around, like walking their dogs. All of the buildings on this block are brick, which I love aesthetically. I love it. Um, they're brick. They're like two flats, three flats. Um, very, very nice buildings. The building that I'm looking at is brick. Um, so, yeah, uh, that, those are positives so far already. So I'm excited to see. Y'all are going to be kicking and screaming at the camera, but I forgot to record. <laughs> I forgot to record. This is why. I was distracted for two reasons. Number one, um, mainly I was just distracted for one reason. Um, the, re the, the realtor, I don't know if he's a realtor or he just works, I don't know his title. Um, but <laughs> he's like a frat bro. He's like a frat bro. He literally had on a baseball cap to the back, a white t-shirt, some cargo shorts and some gym shoes. And so at first I was like, is this, is this who I'm seeing? And to be very clear, I don't care what he was wearing. Like, I just wasn't expecting him to be so just down that I didn't know that he was the realtor that I was supposed to be meeting in that moment. And he wasn't very talkative. He didn't really introduce himself, like, or anything. I think he just kind of expected me to know who he was, even though we never met. So it started off very awkward. Like, he's a man of very few words. We went, we looked at it. He didn't really... Get, don't you know how when you're trying to sell a space you're like yeah it has this and it has that you know blah blah, blah. he didn't really say much he just kind of looked around he said it was his first time seeing it too since it's been completed and he mentioned that he helped with the blue like the layout the blueprint and like you know building the space basically I guess determining what it was gonna look like and other than that he didn't really say very much so I was like okay uh he's not very talkative so it was just awkward it was awkward that's why i didn't feel comfortable i didn't even think to record because i didn't feel comfortable to record because it was really awkward interacting with him so anyway um i love the space i love the space um i thought that i would have like no stairs but if you're coming from the front um you have to like it because it's all the way in the back of the building like it's like I don't know how to describe these buildings, but if you live in Ukrainian village, like it's like a four flat brick building, like maybe like with three or four floors in the front. And then you go through the gate, through the gangway, and there are like stairs, 
Like you have to go down a flight of stairs and then there's a flat, flo flat, you know, surface and ground because it's the back of the building. And then you have to go up stairs and then it's flat. Then you go down again and up again and down again. So they're very short stair cases, you know, maybe it's like six, seven steps, you know, um, if you're coming from the front. If you're coming from the back, which is where I'm assuming that I park, it's just one flight of stairs to get down. So I am hoping that with the moving company, we can move from the back of the building because it's just that one flight of stairs and you're literally right there. Like you have all of this space. Um, so that was great. The actual apartment itself is bigger than I expected. Um, I only have one closet, so that's the downside of downsizing to one bedroom, is that I only have one closet. It's a decent sized closet, but pretty much everything that I have in my bedroom closet now is what's gonna fit in there, maybe a few more things. Um, and then I'm going to have to maybe get a dresser or something like that eventually uh, for additional storage. Um, because the bedroom is big enough to fit my bed, maybe like a small drawer or dresser, and then hopefully I can hang my television on the wall instead of having it sitting on the dresser just so that I have more storage, I don't know. So um, the bedroom is bigger than my bedroom, it's a little bit bigger. Um, which is great. The living area is the size of from the kitchen in the living room is the size of the entire space, of course. So um, as, at least like lengthwise. Um, so there's like a little like corner nook in the living room where I plan to put like my work area and my other desk. It'll fit perfectly there with like and like decorating and just like making that little nook a nook like a little office look and then the rest of the area is my living area um the kitchen is big enough where i do plan on buying one of those islands that you can build like from amazon or ikea or something and it is big enough to fit an island in there like a small island um i'm just used to having an island i love islands so um, I love that the kitchen is big enough to fit it in there. There are all updated brand new appliances, updated fridge, updated stove, microwave, um, updated hardware, everything is brand new. So it's beautiful, good water pressure. Um, the layout and decor is just very nice. It's like light, but it has like some black accent. It has marble everywhere. <laughs> Not everywhere, but it has marble in the kitchen, in the bathroom, and it has black. Um, I love that the tile in the shower is black. Um, the backsplash in the kitchen is like a granite, like blackish. It's beautiful. Um, I'm going to have to get Banji a... Uh, cat tower because the windows are high of course because it's a basement unit um and i want benji to be able to look out the window but anyway um yeah i'm excited i'm excited so i'll keep you all updated so i got some good news um i ended up getting the apartment that i looked at that i didn't record <laughs> Um, I signed the lease yesterday um, and maybe it was actually a good thing that I didn't record it because it is where I'm going to be living at and so um, I do plan to do like an empty apartment tour. I hope to. I hope that I can get there again um, before the actual move-in date. I'm going to be, my lease starts June 1st there. Um, but I'm hoping that I can move in May 30th because that's when I was able to book the um, moving company. And because no one lives there, no one has to move out, I'm going to be the first tenant to live in this space. Um, it shouldn't be a problem. So I'm going to um, just let my management know. But the lease is signed. It feels a bit surreal, you know? Like, I was really, really, really nervous that I was not going to be able to find a place in my budget that had all of the amenities that I wanted. And to be able to have found a place in my budget 
technically below my budget um if you minimize the parking spot cost um i do have a parking spot um it was like mandatory to get the parking spot i guess because the rent is so affordable and they need to figure out a way to get as much money as possible but basically like the building owner offers a parking spot my management company for my current uh, apartment manages the um building for the owner um and the building owner said that whoever goes into this apartment they wanted to um get a mandatory parking spot so um i got really lucky because um apparently according to the leasing agent that i've been working with um someone else had applied for this place and got approved but they did not want to commit to getting the parking spot um so they declined it and then i was able to get the opportunity so that worked like how this worked out is a miracle to go into a space that's literally brand new renovated the building isn't brand new renovated but the um, garden apartment is brand new renovated updated appliances modern look i have central air i have forest heat i have just the most beautiful bathroom the most beautiful kitchen i can't wait to show you guys this these kitchen um cabinets <laughs> i cannot wait to show you guys these kitchen cabinets they're so beautiful it has the light aesthetic that i've been looking for currently where i stay now is pretty dark and i have to like lighten it up with like my decor and stuff but this place that i'm moving in it has light walls it has light um you know uh accents and things like that it's mostly white marble and gray with a little bit of black accent it's really 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 nice I have any in-unit washer dryer um even though it's a garden unit the uh light is pretty good there are quite a few um windows um and the space being light itself definitely makes a difference and um i have a bedroom with like sliding door closet um the bedroom is a pretty decent size for a one bedroom garden unit it's bigger than it's a it's 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 bigger than the bedroom that i have now just a little bit bigger though um, so I know all of my stuff can fit in there. Um, I have a parking spot. I actually love, I prefer to be able to have a parking spot. So the fact that I was able to get all of this in one space, everything, literally pretty much everything that's on my list, you know, for the price that I have it without having to pay any application fee, any a, a, administrative fee or anything like that or a security deposit because I'm sticking with my management and they don't require that when you stick with them like it universe and my ancestors did that like they like there's no way it, it literally is a spiritual miracle like I, this just doesn't happen you know I was so stressed out that I was like oh I'm gonna have to compromise a lot and to finally the space that i do get that i did get not having to compromise anything and when i tell you all this neighborhood is so quiet <laughs> like for it to only be seven minutes from where i am it's so much quieter than where i am um yeah i can't wait to show y'all and i i can't wait to move um i'm getting things now to start to pack i got like a few totes and i got you know tape and boxes and so I'm going to be packing, you know, but it's crazy. It feels like a miracle. <laughs> so I just wanted to update you all with that. Hopefully the next video will be the next video about moving um, would be a tour. I didn't really plan on doing like moving and packing content like I don't find that to be interesting but i don't know maybe people will like it um i just also find it to be really hectic when i'm trying to pack and organize and stuff like that to move i'm not trying to record that so i may not have packing content i don't find it to be interesting anyway <laughs> but um yeah that's the update <laughs> sorry again that i didn't record it but you will see it soon um Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you made it this far in the video, please like, share, and subscribe. 
if you haven't subscribed already and i will see you next time Take it away, feeling too good to me